Ukraine's president is in Washington today as part of a last minute push to get more U.S. funding. He'll be meeting with President Biden and congressional leaders, but it may be too late for his appeal. Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt is live this morning to explain why. Good morning, Hannah. Kim, Ben, good morning. Lawmakers are locked in a fight over a package that would send more aid to Ukraine. And some of them say President Zelensky's plea isn't going to change their minds. Slava Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is back in Washington with a message for U.S. leaders. You can count on Ukraine and we hope just as much to be able to count on you. Right now, U.S. funding for Ukraine is rapidly running out, and the Biden administration is asking Congress to approve more than $60 billion in further aid before the end of the year. We are determined to help Ukraine fight to defend its territory and its citizens. But that request is caught up in a debate over immigration reform, with Republicans demanding a strict border crackdown in exchange for any more Ukraine aid. The only way that we have leverage to make them do the right thing is to say, listen, you're not going to get any more funding for whatever else you want until we control that border. Republicans and Democrats have been negotiating for weeks, but so far they haven't been able to reach a deal, putting the fate of the wartime funding at risk. Republicans and only Republicans are holding everything up because of unrealistic maximalist demands on the border. This standstill adds urgency to President Zelensky's visit as Ukraine's situation grows more dire by the day. Right now we risk Ukraine literally running out of bullets. If we do nothing by the end of the year, Vladimir Putin will win. Congress is set to leave for a holiday break on Thursday, and they aren't scheduled to be back here until January. Ben, Kim, back to you.